families what pastors and members were praying for. Black pastors from churches around Oakland prayed for parents to guide their children well, for good jobs that sustain families, for the homeless on the streets, and for the city's leaders. Lord, we've got trouble in this city. We've got trouble in this city, and no one seems to know what to do. We thank you for our governor that sent in 120 troops, Lord. Bishop Bob Jackson was referring to the CHP resources that Governor Newsom sent to Oakland recently. Cynthia Adams, president of the city's NAACP chapter, called on a higher power to intervene in the city's public safety crisis. Because God is going to show up and he's going to show out. He's going to take this city back. Adam says God has always looked out for Oakland, but she believes that he needs to come together now and re-examine its values. In Jesus' name, amen, and thank God. In East Oakland, I'm Raquel Maria Dillon, CCDF. We are two minutes away from that and then in the KCDF Sports Network. Wear glasses and need readers. Custom lens replacement from Laser Eye Center of Silicon Valley can be your permanent solution. Learn about CLR at their free live webinar March 1st. Dr. Craig Bindi and his team will explain how CLR differs from LASIK, who's a candidate, why no cataracts after CLR, how much it costs, and more. Join the free live webinar Friday, March 1st at noon. CLR, no readers, glasses, contacts, or cataracts. Register at LaserEyeCLR.com. Get ready. This week, a Staples has deals so good, you're going to want to sit down. Are you sitting? I'll wait. Great. Right now, during Staples Synodon, you can save up to $180 on select chairs. That's up to $180 off desk chairs, up to $180 off computer chairs, and up to $180 off gaming chairs. So hurry into Staples now for the Staples Synodon and grab a seat for two and three two. In store only, see associates in details. Hey, any big plans for today? Yep, checking out Target's four-day sale. Oh, for what? For scoring 20% off. For 20% off. For everything you need for spring. 20% off tees, jeans, and shoes. Even so like bedding, bath, storage, and more. Wait, for real? For how long? Four days. That's the name of the sale. Target's four-day sale. Ah, the four-day sale. Count me in for sure. Don't miss Target's four-day sale. Ends Monday. Restrictions apply. See Target.com for details. He's a lineup changer for sure. Of course, his biggest uh, moment in Major League Baseball came back in the 2021 season. There they go, base on the lane. He has World Series that won it for the World Champion Braves that year. He was named World Series 
most valuable player. And another guy, keep in mind, they shelled out a $100 million contract for a Korean center fielder in Jung-Hoo Lee, who is going to be another force at the top of the line. And this Giants team could be pretty exciting over the course of the season. And don't forget, they brought back another dude, Pablo Sandoval. And get back. He has uh, been invited to camp as a non-roster invitee, 37 years old. He's slimmed down by big panda standards, of course. <laughs> you know, um, still can go out there and play a mean third base. Uh, can he hit? That's the thing. Uh, we'll see. Got a whole spring to figure that one out. A couple quick updates. First on the ice, Sharks trouble losing four nothing to the Vegas Golden Knights about 10 minutes ago in the third. A lot of day action across the National Hockey League. Congratulations. I'm a great coach at uh, the University of Connecticut, moving into second place all the time, men's or women's, with 1,203 career wins. That moves him ahead of the great Mike Krzyzewski, still trailing the even greater Tara Vandermeer at Stanford, who is at 1,209 career wins and counting all time later. Some of the great coaches reached some remarkable milestones this year in college basketball. Desk, Matt Dickman, KCBS. I'm a Jewish girl. Very good. I'm weak. This one time, my parents had to run the whole neighborhood to track me down. It was a mess. A lot of tears. Well, now that we got it, Center from your local How to Be with Traffic Center. I, I, I wouldn't be anywhere else right now. I'm telling you, Brett, being on the air with you and um, uh, Nikki is is awesome. And unfortunately, I've got to report on some not so awesome traffic. Both directions of 101 San Francisco still shut down the Central Freeway. This is due to demonstrations. Now there are demonstrators working. Uh, it's not there. They're near Civic Center Plaza. And I've seen significant delays on all approaches to Market and Octavia. So CHP has got the Central Freeway completely shut down, and Market and Octavia, just the hub of this demonstration. If you can avoid driving through here, always the best choice. Few crashes to be aware of. First in Richmond, the El Portal on-ramp, eastbound 80. A car went off the embankment and landed on the El Portal on-ramp. It is blocked. There are critical injuries. In San Jose, northbound 880 near Coleman, this three-car crash has got the right lane blocked, and unfortunately, there are injuries there. And then in the Santa Cruz Mountains, another crash on northbound 17. This near Redwood Estates, a vehicle there flipped over the railing. We're waiting on some more details. Your next update at 328 on the traffic leader, KCBS. And taking a look at our Mancini Sleep World six-day forecast, visit Mancini Sleep World during our President's Day sale or visit sleepworld.com. Taking a look at the live Doppler, uh, we're still seeing a lot of rain around the Bay Area. Most of San Jose looks dry right now, but the heavy band around 280, Five, also a little south of San Mateo and definitely in parts of San Francisco. Tomorrow, still rainy and breezy. We do have a high surf and wind advisory until Tuesday, a flood watch in effect through Wednesday morning. Wednesday through Friday, Wednesday maybe a little morning shower. We should start drying out by Thursday and Friday with a mix of sun and clouds and temperatures remaining in the 60s. Traffic and weather together on the 8th on All News 106.9 and AM 740 KCBS. This portion of our News Watch is sponsored by The Walk Shop in Berkeley, the Bay Area's favorite walking shoe store, inviting you to put a spring in your step. We have more news now. Just three months after the California Department of Motor Vehicles banned GM's cruise cars, one group is demanding a similar fate 
for Waymo autonomous driverless vehicles. KCBS's Shannon Golden has more on who the group is pointing the finger at and why safety is a big point of contention. The network for safety in our streets and for working people is calling for Governor Gavin Newsom and the state's public utilities commission to rescind Waymo's ability to operate within San Francisco and ban all other autonomous vehicle companies. Steve Zeltzer, committee representative for the network, says the tech just isn't up to safety standards and that companies should be held accountable for accidents just like drivers. The DMV and the CPUC have given them a pass to violate the uh, vehicle code. Other speakers at the network's press conference say the continued shift towards autonomous vehicles will sacrifice jobs and ridership for public transportation. Edward Escobar, founder for the Alliance for Independent Workers, says the governor and the PUC commissioner, John Reynolds, who spent three years as managing counsel at Cruz, are answering to corporate shareholders. They're representing the interests of profits over people 24-7. In a statement to KCBS, Waymo highlighted senior and disabled communities that do support the technology as a safer method of transportation. In San Francisco, Shannon Golden, KCBS. Two Bay Area lawmakers have a proposal that would increase the enforcement of a 2019 law that's meant to reduce the maternal death rate among people of color. KCBS's Mary Hughes has more. The proposed bill is called AB 2319, co-authored by Assembly members Mia Bonta and Lori Wilson. AB 2319 is a bill that's uh, a direct result of an audit. Wilson, a Democrat from Sassoon City and chair of the California Legislative Black Caucus, says this audit found that very few hospitals in the state had completed the required anti-bias training that was put into place by another law known as the California Dignity in Pregnancy and Childbirth Act. They didn't know who it applied to. They had trained certain uh, workers, but not others. Data from the California Healthcare Foundation shows that pregnant black people are four to six times as likely to die from pregnancy and birth-related issues than other racial groups, which for Wilson makes this bill all the more important. This particular...